Joining us with reaction, Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana. Senator, first there was no mask, uh, mask isn't going to work, then it was one mask, then two masks, and maybe masks in perpetuity. Then he told us that if we got the vaccine, we would never contract COVID. Well, now people that have the vaccine, they have two shots, and then they have two boosters, and they have previous infections. Well, now they're getting COVID a second time, so they were wrong on the science. But the worst part to me is the lie, and that is, don't we now know for a fact that NIH money, taxpayer dollars, went to fund this Wuhan virology lab, and that they, they knew gain-of-function research and coronavirus research took place at that facility? Two points, Sean. Uh, number one, as I think I have told you before, I don't hate anyone, and that includes Dr. Fauci. He has decided to retire in December, and I wish him well. However, and this is my second point, unless you do your research on Twitter, you know that the American people have many, many questions about how Dr. Fauci, other public health officials, and our government handle the pandemic. And getting answers to those questions from Dr. Fauci and others has been like trying to slam a revolving door. Now, the Democrats are in charge. They refuse to press, but the Republicans will. So here's my prediction. If Republicans take back one or both houses of Congress, and unless Dr. Fauci, retirement or not, decides to seek asylum in some, uh, some remote, obscure foreign country. Uh, maybe have, power about Wuhan, bomb jackpot maybe is, Wuhan, China will take them. Well, unless Dr. Fauci decides to seek asylum in some foreign country whose Powerball jackpot is 287 chickens and a goat, and therefore, which won't enforce a subpoena from the United States Congress, then Dr. Fauci, retirement or not, is going to be spending a lot of time in front of a congressional committee and committees if Republicans take back control. We're going to ask him questions about gain-of-function research, why he didn't push back on China's lies, uh, why he pushed back so hard on the possibility, which we know is now real, that the virus originated in a Chinese lab, um, why he went along with the greatest um, dissipation, if that's the right word, greatest taking of civil liberties of the American people in the history of our country. We're going to have a lot of questions, and, and we're going to subpoena him and expect him to answer. And I well, would not advise Dr. Fauci to put down a non-refundable deposit on a cruise. Well, let me ask you this, because we have his emails in January of 2020 in a flurry of emails uh, among other NIH executives uh, that seemed to show great concern what might be found out about monies going to the Wuhan Virology Lab. Then you have The Intercept, 900 pages they revealed, and Project Veritas. And then we have, I believe it was October of 2020 uh, or 2021, the NIH's own emails show that they knew about gain-of-function research. Do you believe Dr. Fauci purposely lied to the American people about what he knew about the coronavirus, about the Wuhan Virology Lab, and about American tax dollars funding gain-of-function? I don't know, but we need to find out. And it's not about Republicans or Democrats, and it's not about Dr. Fauci. It's about the American people. Now, they've been through hell, in part on the advice of Dr. Fauci. Maybe he was right, but maybe he was wrong. And in, in the last conversation I had with Dr. Fauci, with respect to whom I bear no ill will, he was in front of a committee. They only gave me five minutes. I asked him a simple question. What did we learn from the, from the pandemic? And I got a felonious amount of BS. Now, the Democrats won't press. But if we take back control of this Congress, we will. And retirement or not, he will be subject to a congressional subpoena. And the American people deserve answers. 
They have been right. through hell. And, and to say nothing of the fact that we may have to go through this sometime again soon. We want to be ready. We better be ready. Well said, Senator. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.